we are going to be gone. Today we are going to be short for to getting ready for bed. So a lot of people having problems sleeping. And in the yoga pose, child pose is the most recommended pose for insomnia. So we're going to start from child pose. And go ahead and keep your knee not wide open, but keep your inner thigh relaxed. Gently open your knees. And coming into comfortable child pose. And keep your spine not swaying back. Keep your spine neutral and bring your elbow to the floor. And we stack your form together and put your forehead over your forearm. Very gentle, child pose. And use your extra releasing each vertebra. Start feeling deep stillness. And slowly coming up to tabletop pose. And I want you to align the diagram the pelvic cross to gently engage core. And go ahead and tuck your toes. And use your ease to move your hips up so you can feel your sitting bones are spread and opening up pelvic floor. And as we slowly come back to the water pose. Please don't move your hips back. Notice the sensation stays between sitting bones are spread. And as we come back. In terms of move your hips to the back, spreading sitting bones. And as we come back. Two more inhale, move your feet to the back, spread sitting bone, keep your spine neutral. Exhale, come back. Do one more inhale, move your feet to the back. And exhale, come back. And do some little different uh, cat cow. Go ahead and move your both hands to the left side. And toes are pointing 45 degree direction. And do the gentle cow inhale to tilt your pelvis down. Exhale, round your back, keep to the heel. Inhale to child pose, diagonal cow pose. And exhale, round your back, diagonal cow pose. And another inhale, cow. And round your back to cow pose. Do one more cow. And round your back to cow pose. And coming back to center. And go ahead and shake your hips side to side and see hopefully your right side of your pelvic floor is a little more release and relax. And we're moving on that. I'm going to move your both hands to the right side and fingers are pointing at the 45 degree direction. And inhale, cow, tilt your pelvis down. And exhale, hip to the back, to child pose, I mean cat pose. And inhale, cow, gently spread your spine, tilt your pelvis. And exhale, round your back to cat pose. Inhale, cow, very gentle cow. Gently lift your chest and forward. And exhale, round your back, hip to the heel. Two more, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat pose. So we are opening up the left side of the pelvic core. Do one more, inhale, cow. And exhale, round your back, cat pose. And go ahead and come in back to table in the normal table top pose and swing your hips side to side and see how you feel in the pelvic floor. And hopefully they are even. Now go ahead and bring your right foot forward between hands and lift your toes off the floor. And I want you to bring your left hand other side of your right hand. And you got a little internal rotation of the pelvis. So your uh, navel center slightly pointing to the right side. And take a deep inhale. And exhale, bow down. Bow down diagonally. It's a little weird, but again, opening up the right side of the pelvic floor. Now inhale. Exhale, tilt your pelvis down. Relax your hip joint. Go back. Go in. If you need to keep your micro bench right, you need to protect your legs. And exhale, bow down. Now inhale. Exhale, let go of your weight of your head. Inhale. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Take an inhale. Escape your exhale. And inhale, walk your hands forward. We simply switch that. Right knee back. Stepping left foot forward. Straightening left leg. And take a deep inhale, gently raising spine forward. And go ahead and bring your right hand outside of your left leg. And bow down in 45 degree direction to the left. Full inhale, gently raising spine. And exhale, flex up the hip joint and bow. So you're not rounding, but you're hinge from your hip joint. Inhale, 
I have 12 now. You have to make out your three lines here. That's six back. Exhale, father, relax your forehead. Relax your both shoulders. Up and down. And exhale, relax your head. Surrender the weight of your head. Okay, go two more. Out. One more. And out. And inhale slowly coming up to tabletop. And this time open a little wider and bring your uh, sort of your feet together or maybe closer. And the robot to the fall. So keep your uh, inner thigh like that. If you bring your sort of your feet, uh, feet together, engage your thigh too much. Just pull your, pull your feet apart. And do the same thing. Line your diagram the pelvic floor and inhale to move your hip to the back. Spread the pelvic cross space between sitting bones, pubic bone, and tailbone. And exhale, come forward. And in the gentry, spread your pelvic cross. And exhale, release. Inhale, kick to the back, spread the pelvic cross. Exhale, release. Keep your spine neutral. Two more. Inhale, kick to the back. Exhale, release. So you can keep to the back. Not to the rear, slide your hip to the back. Exhale, come back. And go ahead and relax your knee. And coming back to child pose again. Again, if you choose, you can extend your arms forward. Or you can stack your forearm together and raise your forehead. Make sure your spine, whole spine, neck, and the whole spine is comfortable. Then use your exhale to, to melt your back. And surrender your whole body to the ground. Then tilt it down. Coming, exhale. Tilt it down. Soften face with exhale. One more mindful in breath. And a soft, gently exhale. And then slowly, slowly take your time to lift your upper body to sit up. And checking how you feel. How you feel? Are you ready to go to bed? I hope so. Hopefully this is helping somebody somewhere to go to sleep easier. Thank you so much for watching. Please like my video, follow my channel, and come see me more. See you next time.